Welcome back YouTube, another week, another episode, Gym and PT Style episode 5 today. Been another week of improving on those muscles I've been working on to the point I've even made Jermaine cry. I obviously can't see it and all I want to do is lose the weight and do the weights which I have done a little bit the last couple of weeks. I obviously can't see it and all I want to do is get back into those clothes that I bought once I had done that big weight loss transformation process before I got ill uh, and I want to get lifting the weights and lose this fat belly and these little boobies but Jermaine said it's more than that at the moment and um, it's taken me a while to get used to it and understand but it is more about getting my strength back. I've been in the hospital for so long. Um, it's not just about lifting weights and losing the belly, it is also the basics of getting those skills to help me walk and get over things like toys in the room, big steps outside, different inclines and declines, and at the moment the muscles are not strong enough. But even though the muscles aren't strong enough, I'm powering through. I feel like I'm improving week on week and this week has been the same. So that nicely brings me on to today's video, uh, which is again, as I've done before and mentioned a number of times, is getting that hip flexor working, improving my general core strength and the muscles in my legs, but also then also doing hurdle work, making sure I can lift my legs up, like I said, to overcome those obstacles like those big toys in the house or maybe a step when I'm outside or other things that you don't really think about on a day-to-day -day basis, but I obviously need to think a bit about it because I can't always get over them. So as you can see, while I'm using the TRX and doing the lunges, uh, he's make, marking out now on the floor, as you can see for how far back my legs are actually going. Uh, and then making me go as far back as I can, just again to help those hip flexors uh, and build my strength. The problem I have though is the toes haven't got much movement in them because of the way that they've been designed at the moment. Squats are obviously still an issue, as you can see. I mean, that wasn't a squat, I don't know what I did there, I looked like more of a swinging pe pendulum, but yeah, I mean, that first one wasn't there, but again, with a bit of support, I'm, I'm just trying to get better and better, I do know those lunges as well, but again, that is a thing which links into my movement I have in my ankles and the way it's been designed, so over time, as I get better functioning legs and support on each feet, it should get better. Well, as I mentioned before, here we go with the hurdles. Uh, trying to improve my hip flexes. Uh, it sounds like a broken record, but it's the case, so important. And it's actually amazing since talking about this particular topic, being hip flexors, and I'm sure if you're watching this video and have your phone near you, you're gonna start seeing all sorts of stuff pop up on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. The good old phones are always listening, but the hip flexors is something they're using everything you do from running to walking, etc, etc. Yeah, you see me there? Hanging like a Thunderbird character as Jermaine's nicely pointed out there. Thank you, mate. Uh, so a bit of support there just to help me improve my balance and just at the moment, yes, yeah, just improving my balance and uh, making sure I can do the basics.
so yeah, hip flexor, hip flexor, hip flexor. Sound like a broken record, innit? Like I said. But uh, yeah, it's so important at the moment. Working my thighs, my glutes, my hamstrings, my ankles. See, the problem is when I was in bed for so long, everything's just tight, it's so tight. So um, yeah, it all helps. But yeah, look, it's coming. Inshallah, inshallah, it's coming, it's coming. So this time sitting down uh, using different props around me to help strengthen those leg muscles etc. And then finally back to the hurdles, but this time again helping my balance going forward and backwards. But you might have noticed in this particular clip that from the beginning of this video where I was doing the hurdles, I look a little more comfortable going back and forward. So it always helps doing those at the beginning and then seeing how I've progressed throughout the one session. But look, yeah, like I said before, that's, uh, that's something we're working on is those basic things we need to then do those other things in the future. If I don't have the hip flexors and can't lift my knee up or move my legs properly, I can't do the squats properly, I'm going to end up injuring myself more. Um, not good for me, not good for Jermaine helping me train. Uh, it's just going to cause a delay in the process. So this is all, like I said before, and I've said a number of times, step by step, doing the small things, small details first, and then we can do those big things and fun things like squats, and hopefully I'll be going back to squat jumps and being able to run again, but yeah, walking, literally walking before I can run. But look, thank you for joining me this week again for another video, I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't seen my other videos, please go back and have a look at the other episodes and see how started and how I'm progressing. Also look at my other playlist as well. Uh, the recovery series is an interesting one and we'll get more interesting now as well. But thank you for the support, subscribing and liking the videos uh, and please do share as well. So see you in the next one guys. Cheers.